Hello everyone, I'm Wade from High Tech Legion and I'm going to be giving you an overview, some benchmarks, a tutorial on installation, and show you the software that's included with the Killer Wireless N1202 NIC card. Onward to the information. So as I said, what we are looking at here is the Killer Wireless N1202 NIC card. It is a mini PCI Express card and is a half height. So it'll fit in most modern laptop configurations. Although, like again, it is really only available as a laptop upgrade. And so you won't be able to really purchase it in a store but if you're considering an enthusiast level gaming laptop or uh, an other model that might offer the killer card as an upgrade, it's something to consider. The specs on the card are that it's dual band, so it supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. It is 2 by multi input, multi output, so it can transfer two streams at a time. Uh, through the two antenna inputs, these right here, uh, the antenna, antenna inputs, and it has Bluetooth built into it. So, being in a mobile world, you know, having that Bluetooth built into your laptop is nice. So, if you want to quickly transfer a file, you don't have to pull your USB cable or your Apple cable out and connect it into your PC and sync it just to get a file off of it because of the Bluetooth connectivity that you might have in your laptop. Some other things, of course, is that Killer has a bundled proprietary software, the Qualcomm Atheros Manager, Network Manager with it, which does application prioritization. So, say you've got a download stream and you're playing a game at the same time, the software will automatically adjust and lower the amount of bandwidth that that downloads pulling so your game can still run smoothly. Uh, it does all this automatically and also monitors the PC so you can tweak a little bit better um, with your settings within that software. Now I'll be showing you the software shortly but first let me show you the benchmarks. Here I'm going to show you the basic installation for this card. It's very simple to do. Um, this is a Dell E6410 laptop which comes off with a simple one screw and the panel slides off. Not all laptops of course are going to be that simple. As you can see what we have here are two uh, mini PCI Express slots. This one here, WAN is for a wide area network card, so a cellular card. And this half height slot here is where the killer NIC is going to go. What we do here is we place it into the mini PCI Express slot, much like installing laptop memory. It goes in on an angle, and then we simply push it flat and tighten it down with the single screw. And then all we have to do here is attach our antennas to the spots on the wireless card. And then make sure they're out of the way so that when we close the laptop back up, we don't pinch the antennas because one of the things you don't want to do is clip the wire and cut it. Although in this case we have a spare, um, you don't really want to have to use it. That's how simple it is to install the 
mini PCI Express card into a laptop. Although, because this is an upgrade for most machines, you won't have to do this. Though, I, don't, I feel like it doesn't hurt to know how to do it if you ever had to take it out of your machine. This is the software, the Qualcomm Atheros Killer Network Manager that is included with the Killer Wireless N1202 NIC. And on this first screen here, we have an overview uh, of the system showing system statistics, as well as that under applications here that the bandwidth control is enabled in the software, our processes that are active and our inactive processes, and a quick graph of our bandwidth that's being used. Under the PC monitor tab, we have a drop-down box which allows us to switch between several graphs, the internet bandwidth, uh, wireless signal strength, frames per second. If you have fraps installed, it will link in with the PC monitor and you can track your frames per second current system memory usage as well as the processor usage. All this can be cleared or saved to a log file with these buttons down here. And under the applications tab we have a listing of all the applications that are currently running on this machine. The gray boxes indicate the priority level and as you can see almost all of them are set to a level of 4 which is the default priority. This one that's set to priority one, I clicked on earlier and changed to the highest priority. And you can do this with any uh, process that you'd like on here. If there's something in particular that you'd like to run and take the bandwidth up over any other program. If we uncheck this show running only box here, we can see every process that was ever run with the software. All the grayed out ones are the processes that aren't open currently. We can also use this drop down box to sort by A to Z, Z to A, and based on upload or download speeds. And again, we have this total bandwidth graphing on this page as well. Under the network tab we get some more statistics for our wireless network connection. We can see that our transmit and receive speed are both at 130 megabits per second and the signal strength is about 88 percent. The name of the access point that we're connected to, the mode, the band, as well as an IP address under the internet provider speed we can set our upload and download speeds or click the test button to run a speed test on the system so it can automatically set that for you. TCP protocol settings are best left alone with the TCP acknowledgement frequency at 2. TCP node delay is only to be used really in special circumstances but they do offer that option. Under advanced we can change what's shown on the overview tab and under applications you can change the default uh, priority as well as block rules and the application control can be enabled and you can also reset the application data all the defaults. Under options we have the show dialog on close, so it'll ask you whether you're sure you want to close this. Uh, enable gaming op optimization, which you most likely, if you're a gamer, you're going to want to do that. Auto updates will check for updates every time the program is initialized. Here we can change the bandwidth units to what you'd like to see on your graphs and whether PC monitoring is enabled. And that's the software that the Qualcomm Atheros Killer Network Manager software that comes with this wireless NIC. I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview and installation video uh, along with the benchmarks for this killer, 
killer wireless card. Please continue to watch our videos, and if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook, and our Twitter. Also, don't forget that in December 2012, we have a holiday giveaway contest going on on the High Tech Legion website, where you can also see the full review, www.hightechlegion.com. Enjoy!